everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you a superb recipe for how to grill jalapeno hascap chicken. Now you're probably wondering what's all of that jalapeno hascap? Now hascaps are berries. They are berries that were uh, native to Russia and they were grown in Asia but we also have them here all over Canada and this is a product that comes out of Nova Scotia. Fantastic stuff. It's from Hascapa and this is their jalapeno hascap relish. Now the berry is called hascap but the company is Hascapa and I'll have it at the bottom of your screen for you. They have awesome, awesome, tasty, tasty things. Now this relish has Thai chilies in it, it has jalapeno, it has cider vinegar, sugar, um, the Hascap berries, beautiful stuff. And it is so flavorful. I was going to make a beautiful glaze for my chicken and that is just gonna be the perfect accompaniment tonight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this chicken started first and I'm gonna cut it into pieces. Now if you wanna keep it whole, you may do so. Tonight I'm going to cut mine into thighs and drummies. Um, I purchased my chicken like this. Not only is it more inexpensive, but it also has a heck of a lot more flavor when you have the bone in and the skin on. So it's really easy to do this. You're just going to take your quarter and you're going to see where that V is. Okay, there's a thigh and the drummy. You're going to cut right in between that thigh or that the V. You're going to pop that bone out and then you're going to continue to cut right through that meat. So easy to do and uh, you're paying for uh, your butcher to do that at the store a lot. So this is an easy way to do it. No problem. Wash your hands and all of your surfaces. First things first, I'm going to get some olive oil on this chicken and I'm also going to prepare this fantastic basting sauce. Now the base of this basting sauce is going to be the Hascap, um, jalapeno Hascap relish from Hascapa. Fantastic stuff. Make sure you check out my review on this. Mm, lots of different ideas. So I'm going to use probably, I don't know, three heaping teaspoons or a couple heaping tablespoons, I guess. I am going to thin it out just a little bit with some olive oil, maybe a teaspoon. And I'm gonna use just a little bit of red wine. Now you don't have to do this, but you can. I'm using a really great wine from a local Niagara winery called Rancourt, and this is their 2012 Malbec. Now this is a single varietal Malbec. Malbecs, first of all, are very, very unique um, to the entire world. There's not a lot of Malbecs um, grown. So this is a really nice uh, limited vintage wine from a really boutique winery here. Fabulous stuff. Make sure you check out my review on that too. And I'm just going to use maybe a tablespoon to loosen this um, relish up. This relish has so much flavor, it's belligerent. It's so tasty. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's savory, it's the bomb. I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in here, freshly cracked. And that really should be all I need. Let me just taste that. Oh, out of this world. Boy, that's good. Okay, so now I'm gonna um, coat my chicken with some olive oil. Use my little basting brush, or you can use your hands. Works really well. Let's get some foundation of flavor. I'm just gonna put a little bit of freshly cracked pepper on this and a little bit of salt. On both sides, but this is jam-packed with flavor. I am so excited to have this on hand. We're gonna let this shine through. Now I'm gonna start off by just giving it a little bit of this glaze to begin with. You can see it has these big, beautiful Hascap berries in there. If you wanted to blend this up, you can. It's not necessary though. All right, now I did the skin side first and that's what I'm gonna grill first. You wanna get some beautiful grill marks. We're gonna start it on the grill, get beautiful grill marks, get it a little bit cooked, and then I'm gonna finish it off in the oven. Awesome. Okay, the skin side down, and now I'm gonna get this other side with this beautiful base. What I wanna do is build flavor on here. So I need to get a couple coatings of this fantastic um, flavoring I have here. I want it to build up somewhat of a caramelized crust because it's nice and sweet. You're going to get some beautiful caramelization. Now this is going to take a couple minutes to get some nice grill marks, okay? Maybe it's going to be less than five, <laughs> maybe four. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it a quarter turn and let it get a nice cross hash grill mark. Then I'm going to flip it and do the exact same thing. 
gorgeous grill marks. Look at that. Now cross hatch them quickly. It won't take but a few minutes. So I'm gonna turn my oven on 350 degrees so it can finish in there. We're gonna preheat it. I have a handy little roasting tray that I'm just putting a little bit of olive oil on the bottom. I don't want things to stick. All right, we're gonna flip this over. Gorgeous. I'm gonna baste it again. Oh, you have these whole beautiful berries in here. That's gonna be lovely. And I'm gonna put them on top of this in the oven while it's roasting. It's gonna be so good. Now, if you wanted to grill this low and slow, you can, but it'd take a whole lot longer. I don't really wanna do that. We're gonna speed this up a little bit. You could have also marinated this chicken in this, but it's unnecessary too. You can do it a number of different ways. Lots of variety and versatility here. Oh, those cross-hatch grill marks look awesome. All right, I'm gonna turn it a quarter turn. Keep those berries on. Okay, these guys are ready to come off. I've got these beautiful grill marks, my oven is preheated, and they're just gonna finish off in there. Now you've got that beautiful charred flavor and the look that you want. They're grilled beautifully, and now we're gonna finish it up. You wanna make sure that those juices inside near the bone are running clear, no blood. Okay, so this is what they're gonna look like before I put them in. I'm gonna put just a little bit more of this relish on. Making sure that I get some of those nice berries on the chicken. Now the color on my chicken is great and I'm happy with it. So what we just want it to do is finish up with the roasting part of it, okay? With getting that cooked into the center. So I don't need any more color on it per se. That means I'm going to cover it up loosely with some um, aluminum foil. And it's gonna go in the oven. This is probably gonna take mm, 30, 35 minutes, we'll see. Now I'm gonna check this in about 20 minutes to make sure everything looks beautiful. Okay, this chicken should be done. Oh, it smells so good. Boy, this looks awesome. That Hascap relish did a beautiful job of caramelizing and making a nice glaze on the top. These berries have stayed intact. They're beautiful. I can't wait to serve this. Oh. So plate it up. I'm gonna show you how gorgeous. This would be, look so beautiful coming to your table. Um, you can sprinkle this plate with some uh, fresh parsley, or cilantro, or sprinkle it with jalapenos. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna serve it with a little bit extra relish so that I can dip my chicken into it as I eat, okay? So let me just get a plate ready. Tonight I'm serving rice alongside some grilled corn with lavender oil. Can't wait. It smells amazing. Now look at this gorgeous plate, right? What wouldn't you like on there? <laughs> Beautiful. So let's see how this goes. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of this jalapeno hascap relish. Yeah. Oh yes. All right, I'm gonna try a little bit of this chicken. Beautifully cooked. It's cooked all the way through. The juices are nice and clear. Got these gorgeous big pieces of berry from the relish. Very nice. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh. A little bit more relish on it. Mmm. The skin is good. The meat is good. Oh. Mmm, that is ridiculously good. Oh my goodness gracious. Mm -mm -mm. The chicken's done nicely all the way through. These berries on top and the extra little relish. Use that relish kind of like you would cranberry sauce at Thanksgiving. Oh, come on, man. It is out of this world, outrageously good. Oh, what a great idea. 
Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. You could just eat that relish by the spoonful. It's so good. Mm. Make sure you check this out. It's the Hascapa Jalapeno um, Hascap Relish. Fantastic. You can find this and other products from Hascapa online at hascapa.com. This is a berry that you need to know about. You've probably been missing out all these years. Boy, this is fantastic stuff. Everything I've tried from them has been really, really, really good. Mmm, I like Hascapa berries. <laughs> Anyhow, that's how you do it. That's how you grill up jalapeno Hascap uh, chicken. Fantastic. I hope you try it. Experiment with, with this and their other products as well. They have a great chutney and a fabulous jam, and they've got Hascap juice. Oh, all kinds of things. Check them out, okay? Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly and YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And my site is Cooking with Kimberly.com. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.